years ago, we helped contractors see how their bottom line improved dramatically when they added an electronic air cleaner to their equipment job. We call this the incremental profit story. It starts with the idea that adding any enhancement to a job will increase the gross and the net profit margin more significantly than you might have thought. Gross profit, for those of you who aren't acquainted with the P&L, is what's left after you deduct equipment, material, and labor costs from the selling price. Net profit is what's left over when you deduct all costs, including overhead and sales commissions. This would be the money that the company has to pay taxes on. I've used both the terms accessory and enhancement. I'm going to encourage you to shift to thinking about an air cleaner as an enhancement. An accessory isn't a very complimentary term. It just describes something that's added on. Where an enhancement is something that significantly improves the benefits and the value that the customer can get. I'd much rather have an enhancement than an accessory. One of the important considerations here is looking at labor differently. For example, how much labor time will it take a two-man crew to install a furnace air conditioner, add some return air, and put in a one-inch filter? Depends on where you live. In some parts of the country, that'll take a full day. Let's use one day as an example. So answer this then. How much time would it take to install a furnace, air conditioner, additional return air, and a high efficiency filter compared to just the one inch filter job? You'd all say the same. So the incremental labor to install an enhancement is often no more than what it would be just to put in the regular job. So this kind of defines it. When installing any equipment and then you add an extra enhancement like a high efficiency air filter and that job doesn't take any more time than you originally planned it to do, you can say that the additional gross profit from that enhancement is all incremental net profit. I'm going to define this a little bit more. Let's start by taking a look at how we price a job. Most contractors have a method where they use a divisor, sometimes called a multiplier. They get you to the same place. A divisor is calculated by taking the company's overhead percentage and their net profit goal and adding those numbers as a decimal together. So if company overhead is 35%, fairly common, and desired net profit is 15%, not so common, but what you should be making. That 35 and 15 added together are 50%, or the decimal would be 0 0.50. To come up with the divisor, you simply subtract that number, the 0 0.50, from 1, and that equals the divisor. Okay? If you were thinking of a multiplier that's easier for you to use when pricing a job, you simply divide the divisor into one, in this case a 2.0 multiplier. We'll stick with the divisor, 0.50, in our example. The next step would be to add up all your equipment, material, and labor costs. I'll take an example where the equipment combined is $5,000. The materials that you need, the gas piping, sheet metal, electrical, all those miscellaneous things, including shop rags and sheet metal screws and things should be included, add up to $400. Then the labor to install a job would be two men for eight hours, that's 16 man hours, at a burdened $40 an hour, that's wage plus benefits, equals $840. So our equipment, material, and labor cost in this example is 6240. Those are hard costs. That's what you have to pay as a contractor in order to get these three things. The next step then would be to divide the total cost by your divisor. So 6240 divided by 0 0.50 means that your selling price before a sales commission is added would be $12,480. 
adding a sales commission is something that's done after you calculate what the selling price is that the company needs to get. So the selling price before commission of 12480 then is divided by 1 minus the commission rate. In this case, a commission rate of 10%. So we divide 12480 by 0 0.9. That means that the retail selling price is $13,867. Just to double check, let's go backwards. If the sales commission is 10%, the sales commission would be $13,86. Subtract $13,86 from $13,867 and you get $12,480. When you get $12,480, you've got half of that for your equipment material labor and the other half for gross profit. So what does that look like? If our gross profit was 35% and the job selling price before commission was 12480, we just multiply that out and the gross profit at 35% is 4368 and the net profit of 15% is 1872. So the difference between gross profit and net again is that gross profit is before we subtract overhead and net profit is what we get left for the company and still have to pay taxes on. What is overhead? If you're not familiar, overhead are all those expenses that you have whether you make a sale or not. So when you come in the office in the morning, electricity has been running all night, more of it's going to run now. You have computers and copiers that you've paid for. You have people who support you in the, in the office. You have utility costs to pay. You have insurances to pay. You have all sorts of expenses. I hope not too many legal expenses, but you have, and you have consultant expenses. I hope you have some of those. And all those expenses go into this factor called overhead, which usually is 35% of total sales. Now I'm gonna introduce an additional thought here that's important. Every day, it's useful to think about how much revenue you need to produce, how much you have to install in order to reach your company's break-even goal. Break-even means that you have produced enough revenue so that you could pay for your equipment, pay for your material, pay for the labor, and pay your overhead so that for that day your expenses are covered and you can be profitable. Does that make sense? Equipment, material, labor, and overhead, and now you have left over a net profit for that day. It's a great thing to be aware of as an owner. So your goal for each day is to hit your net profit break even. Now the incremental profit story starts to make a lot of sense. When you sell one more product, that day when you've already reached break even when you sell one more product the gross profit on that additional sale now becomes all net why because you've already paid for your overhead for the day this is called incremental net profit when that any product or service is additionally sold and installed on a job that you didn't already have as part of your plan, you sold the extra enhancement, then the incremental gross profit becomes all net. So now let's take a look at what happens when we add an air filter to a job where it was not originally in the sale. You upsold. We'd have the equipment cost at $900, the extra materials you might need like return air maybe, um, some transitions, other sheet metal work, electrical, we'll call that $100. Then you paid the guys for one extra hour, two man hours at $40 each, $80. That totals to $1,080 in total costs. What do we sell it for? Well, we'll divide that by 0 0.50, that's our divisor. So that gives us 2160. We'll divide that by 1 minus the commission rate. That means 
and we'll now have a retail selling price of $2,400. So we added the air cleaner to the job for $2,400. So what does that mean in terms of profit? The gross profit is 35% of that, or $756, and the net profit is 15%, or $324. We added an additional $1,080 of gross and net profit. If we added this air filter at the end of the day that we had achieved break-even, we already paid for overhead for the day. That total incremental gross and net profit of 1080 all becomes net profit. It falls to the bottom line. So how do the numbers work out? When we sold the equipment job only, we had 4368 in gross profit and 1872 in net. 1872 in net profit from the equipment job only. When we sold the air filter, we added an additional 1080 in gross and net profit because we've already reached break even. We're adding the gross and the net together. So we went from 1872 to 2872 a 73% improvement, or in more simple terms, adding a secure air air purifier to the job means selling two of those jobs would deliver more net profit than three equipment only jobs. So when you're in a hurry and you're just thinking about selling the job without enhancements, remember the incremental net profit and how impactful that can be on your bottom line.